Hey everybody, in this video we're going to do a bit of a longer spider crawl exercise. The pattern is going to be one, two, one, three, one, four. Let's try it. When you're doing this exercise, there's just a few things you got to watch out for. Usually when I do this with my students, instead of these long, connected, clean sounding notes, I get these short, disconnected, choppy, buzzy sounding notes. So we don't want that, that doesn't sound very good. Uh, in order to get rid of the buzz, you gotta make sure that you're using the very tips of your finger with your thumb pointing toward the ceiling, not the wall. Um, you kind of gotta create like a circle right here. Um, also, when you're placing your finger, if you're toward the outside, toward the headstock, that's gonna uh, create kind of a loose connection between the string and the fret wire right here. We need it to be you know, pressed right against the fret wire in order to get a clean sound. So if you're right here, you gotta press harder to make that connection, but if you're right next to the fret, you barely have to press it at all. So, you know, a good rule of thumb is to go right in the middle, but the best spot is on the inside of the fret, right next to the wire, without actually touching the wire. Also, make sure you're not holding your pick like this. Uh, having your pick far away from your hand is gonna add resistance, um, so you wanna make sure it's really close to your hand like this, kind of like you're gonna flip a coin, but instead of flipping it, you put your thumb on top. And you want just a little bit sticking out, you don't want too much, that's also gonna add resistance and mess with your timing. So yeah, just a little bit coming. Well, if you just stumbled across this video, then at this point you should know that it's a guided practice for people who are just barely learning guitar. So if that's you, then go grab your guitar and see if you can keep up. Uh, after this, I probably won't do too much more talking or explaining, uh, it's more of a tool to help you uh, develop your skills and comfort playing the instrument. Um, so if you feel lost and think you need more explanation, then go check out the demonstration video I did. I put the link in the description. All right, well, since this is a longer spider crawl exercise and we're at the end of level one, I don't think we need to start at two clicks per note, 60 beats per minute. Let's start at two clicks per note, 100 beats per minute. Um, that way we won't be here all day. One, two, ready, go. All right, here's 110 beats per minute. Ready, go. Last time doing two clicks, here's 120 beats per minute. Ready, go. All right, now we're gonna switch things up. We're gonna go down to 60 beats per minute and do one click per note. Ready, go.
70 beats per minute. Ready, go. Here's 80 beats per minute. Ready, go. Ninety beats per minute. Ready, go. Just a few more. Here's 100 beats per minute. Ready, go. One hundred and ten beats per minute. Ready, go. Last one, here's 120 beats per minute. Ready, go. And that's the end, woohoo! Congratulations. Well, we're getting pretty close to the end of level one. This is the second to last spider crawl you're going to do. Hopefully you've been keeping up with these. Um, I can't imagine you'll be able to play the riffs coming up uh, if you're not able to do these. Um, I know these aren't like the most exciting exercises and they don't sound very pleasant, um, but it would be better to gain your skills doing these spider crawl exercises uh, than it would be to do, you know, riffs and songs. Sure, you'll learn how to play guitar if you are practicing riffs and songs, uh, but you'll be frustrated and it won't come together very quickly. And by the time you can play those songs, you'll probably hate it because you've heard the song so many times, you've tried to play it so many times, it will lose its magic. And you'll have kind of spent all that time learning the song for nothing because you won't even like it. So what would be better is to get frustrated and learn to hate the spider crawl exercises. I don't care if you hate spider crawl exercises, I don't like them that much either. But if you're gonna have to be frustrated learning guitar uh, somehow, it'd be better to get frustrated with these boring exercises uh, so that when you go to learn a song, you can learn it really quickly and it's fun. Wouldn't that be better? Wouldn't you rather have fun learning a song rather than just like struggle and struggle and then hate it? Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you've got any questions or suggestions for the channel, let me know in the comments. I'll get right to them. Uh, if you like what's going on here and want to give me some positive feedback, I'm sure there are things you can do. I'm completely ignorant of them, though. Uh, if you don't want to do any of those things, that's totally cool, and I'll just see you in the next video.